Well, hey there, everybody. It's Lori McLean. I am back with another episode of RA Raw. This episode, uh, the idea came to me this past week, actually. Well, Monday, Monday night. <laughs> um, I plan on going a different direction with this week's video, and well, I got the flu. So that made me think about the things that we as rheumatoid arthritis warriors can do to help ourselves during this flu season and what we can do to prevent the flu from getting us. But first, I wanna do a little bit of housekeeping and let you know about my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and my Twitter page. I share things like, uh, you know, I'll share more tips during the week um, regarding certain things that I've talked about in the video. So that's a really great resource as well. If you're interested, head on over to Facebook. I've put the link in the description below. You can head on over there after this video. I will be sharing more things about the flu uh, over the next week and the things that you can do to prevent. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's talk about what you can do as an RA warrior to help prevent the flu. Let's go. I know really there's a lot of debate over whether or not the flu shot is something we should get or not get. I have gotten it for quite a few years, especially since I started Humira, um, because that has depleted my immune system even more. So, and I'm now, you know, at a greater risk for infection and so forth. But I'm not here to preach about it. I'm not here to, you know, whatever. Just to let you know, talk it over with your doctor and decide for yourself if you think that is the right thing for you to do. That's all I'm gonna say about that. On to the next one. <laughs> Wash everything. I'm not talking just hands and you know, you know, when you go to the washroom or whatever. I am talking about washing your fruits, your vegetables, when you bring them home from the store. I'm gonna put, um, there's down there, brief little info on you know what you can use to, to wash your vegetables that will clean them right up. The amount of bacteria that's on mandarin oranges during the winter months is crazy. So, you know, I used to think it was, I don't have to wash a mandarin orange, I peel it. The fruit isn't exposed to, you know, anyone prior to me peeling it, but my mom actually told me this. You're peeling the fruit and you're getting the bacteria on your hands and then you're eating it. So now, yeah, I wash those suckers. Also wash your vegetables, extremely important. But not just hands, fruits, vegetables. You also, you know, when you go out to see your doctor, when you go, say you have to take an emergency room trip for whatever reason, you wanna think about putting in your purse or a bag, wherever, a Ziploc bag with some Lysol wipes in it. I know you're thinking like, come on, Really? Truly, again, the amount of bacteria that is on the chairs, on the surfaces at a hospital at a doctor's office is appalling. So just give those surfaces a quick wipe down when you sit down in the chair, you know, wipe the, wipe the arms like that, you know, Lysol, pff, pff, wash it up. It's, it's prevention and it really is important. I resisted this next point for quite a while, and that is wearing a mask. I don't wear it, you know, into shopping centers and so forth, but I will throw one on if I'm at the doctor's office during the flu season. It's just, again, it's just further prevention. If they don't hand them out at your doctor's office, just go to Dollarama or wherever and get one of those masks. But really, honestly, folks, it's, it's all about the prevention during this season. another reason to stay hydrated. Now, if your body is not getting the hydration it requires, it can't fight like it should. Your immune system is going to be depleted because of that, so stay hydrated. Now, I don't have my big jug here with me, but I have a big jug of, you know, like a container that I picked up at Dollarama, and it was like three bucks or something, 
and it holds one and a half liters of fluid. So I know if I drink that one in the morning, I've got my one and a half liters in, in the morning, then I try and knock off another one of those in the afternoon. The more you drink, the easier it gets. So just another reason to stay hydrated, it does help your immune system. Who knew? So if you have a friend and they want to go out or they want to come over for coffee, hang out, whatever, and they are just starting to get a cold or maybe you're at the tail end of a cold, let them know that you have a weakened immune system and that you can't fight these things and it's really, really detrimental. I was really bad for that and I still struggle with that, but I am, I'm working on it and you know, bit by bit, I think I'm getting better. Um, it's hard to tell someone that you can't see them because they're sick but it, it really is, it's important because you don't want to end up sick and you know, with a secondary infection or something, something worse. So it's really important to let people know that you have uh, a weakened immune system. The next thing, again, I'm not gonna preach about this. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna touch on it and that is stop smoking. If you are a smoker, you are at an even greater risk of catching the flu and catching a cold. Of course, you know, it, it also weakens your immune system. So if you are a smoker, stop now. It's a really good time to stop. So just a short video today about how to prevent getting the flu this flu and cold season. I hope, I hope, I hope it helps you. And I hope, you know, once again, that maybe you've learned some new things. I know I did. I didn't know that hydration would, could help that much in flu prevention. I had no idea until I started researching for this. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. Next week's video will be more to do with the flu, but we're going to talk about what you can do if you catch the flu to help get yourself through it and when you need to seek medical attention. Everybody take care. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.